Hello everyone, Katarina here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I have for you a very simple card with a monster. You can make this card for Halloween, but since I don't celebrate Halloween, I made a birthday card. The stamp set I'm using here is called Monsters and it's from Avery L. I'm not sure if this stamp set is still available, but you can use any stamp set with monsters that you have. This is just what I had in my stash. I will be using a Bristol cardstock from Canson and the Versafine ink in Onyx Black. And to color the images, I decided to use my coloring pencils. I started by stamping one of the monsters and I also picked the stamp with a box. And I stamped those images using my Mini Misty stamping tool, but you can also use an acrylic block for this as well. Next, I started coloring. I picked colors of pencils I thought will fit well together. I'm using here the Faber Castell Polychromos. I picked two shades of one color, green for the monster and beige for the box. But I'm not going to do anything complicated or over detailed. Therefore, you don't need any fancy coloring pencils. It doesn't really matter here. Of course, you can play with the shading and add more details if you want. But in true honesty, I could not be bothered. If I were coloring a flower, then I might spend more time on it. However, on images like these, for me, it's not worth more time than necessary. Next, I cut out the images using my scissors. I think this stamp set has a coordinating dies, but I rarely get those. And these images were really easy to cut out. The next step is optional. The stamp set includes a stamp with a balloon. And since I was making a birthday card, I decided to stamp multiple balloons on top of the card base, sort of like having helium filled balloons stuck on the ceiling. To color them, I picked three different colors. I only picked one shade of each color and quickly colored the balloons. I really did not want to do any shading. That would be just too much hassle for me. If you are making a Halloween card, you might want to pick more Halloweeny colors. If you don't want to use balloons, you could perhaps create a frame using distress inks. I think that would look good as well. After I was done coloring the balloons, I stamped the sentiment. The stamp set with the monsters has sentiments for birthday as well as for Halloween, but they are meant to be stamped on top of the box, therefore they are slightly tilted. And I wanted to stamp the sentiment below the monster, so I picked a stamp from another stamp set. I also wanted the monster a little bit tucked in in the box, like he's coming out of the box. So before adhering the monster on top of the card, I took a crafting knife and cut a slit in the middle as well as along the front edges inside of the box. You could also mask the images when stamping and this way you would not need to be using a crafting knife. I tucked the monster inside of the box and I glued the monster and the box together. I probably didn't need to do that because I will be using a foam tape as well. I also stamped and colored a bow that is in the stamp set and I adhered it onto the monster. And lastly, I adhered the monster on top of a white card base using a double-sided foam tape. What you can also do to make the card more fun 
is to use action wobblers instead of the foam tape. I did this on a card that I made for my husband and it's really fun when the monster is wobbling. So the card is finished, very simple and quick card, no hassle with the coloring. This is definitely great if you are in a hurry and need to make a card. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did make sure you give it thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. You can follow me on Instagram and Pinterest as well as over on my blog, the links are in the description below of this video. If you want more inspiration, I made few Halloween cards in the past, including my first video ever. The playlist should be available on your screens now, if not, you can find it in the description below. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.